welcome to this video. This is a follow-up to the to the video I made about beards and this video is on the issue of shaving of the head. Uh, first of all we're going to look at Vaikra uh, known as Leviticus 21 and this is in the context this is speaking about uh, the priests the sons of Aharon as you see there from verse 1 and then in verse 5 it says they do not make any bald place on their heads and they do not shave the corner of their beard and they do not make a cutting in their flesh so the first thing to say is that uh, those who are priests Kohenim, those who are uh, descendants of the priestly lineage of Aharon and his uh, and certain of his his children uh, according to this commandment here are not to make any bald place or not to make any baldness on their heads now this is that's quite clear uh, a place where that's repeated is in Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 20 now these are commandments concerning the uh, the coming kingdom actually um, but here we see uh, the same or a similar very very similar command here just re repeated really it says and their heads they shall not shave nor shall they let their hair grow long they shall keep their hair well trimmed so again this is speaking about the priest the Kohenim and it says that their heads they shall not uh, they shall not shave and here it says they shall not let their hair grow long either but they should keep their hair well trimmed so from these comparing these two this this one and uh, the one in Vaikra we see that uh, priests are not to shave their heads they're just prohibited from shaving their heads now this this one here in, in Ezekiel is actually quite important because uh, what people have done, have said with regard to uh, this Leviticus or Vaikra 21, they've said that all these commands here, these statements here, are only with regard to things that, that things that should not be done for the dead. And they say because the context here says, you know, it's all about mourning, how they should, how they can mourn, who can they become defiled by, uh, and they say that so these ones here baldness of the head, shaving the corner of the beard and cutting in the flesh are specifically only to do with um, with uh, doing these things for the dead and the uh, the argument is that these things are okay as long as it's not doing it for the dead but for me uh, Ezekiel is um, important because the context of this commandment here is nothing to do with the dead if you, you go and have a look at Ezekiel chapter 44, read through it and read the surrounding verses. The previous verses, nothing to do with being about the dead. And the following verses, nothing about the dead until way, way down. And down here, verse 25. And so for me, this shows that the commandments that are in Leviticus 21 and verse 5 of Vaikra 21.5 are commandments for all times regardless of whether it's for the dead or not anyway so yeah so the the priests Kohenim are not allowed to shave their heads but what about the rest of the people are they or are we assuming I'm not of Kohenim uh, are, are they are we allowed to shave our heads well I believe the answer to that is yes why do I think that well, first of all, there's several places in the scriptures, in the Torah itself, where people are actually commanded to shave their heads. Also, we have in Yeshaya, uh, Isaiah chapter 22 verse 12 the Most High says to the children of Israel talking about how calamity has come upon the nation and it says in that day the master Yah of hosts called for weeping and for mourning for baldness and for girding with sackcloth then see joy and gladness slaying oxen and killing sheep eating meat and drinking wine let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die the Most High is saying look in that day when the calamities come upon you I called for you to 
be you know to be sad about this to to lament this with weeping and mourning and baldness uh so the most high here is saying you know basically they should have they should have shaved their heads uh as part of their mourning not necessarily every single one of them but he's here he's giving uh he was giving kind of uh the okay to shaving the head as an act of lamentation for national uh, calamity that came across, came upon the children of Israel. He, he actually called for them to do that. Another place where he does this is in Mik Micaiah or Micah, chapter one, verse sixteen. A again, here he says, uh, "Make yourself bald and cut off your hair for your for the children of your delight. Enlarge your baldness like an eagle, for they shall be exiled from you." So again, it's that. It's, it's, it's the command is being you know he's saying to them look the exile is coming coming upon you calamity is coming upon the children of Israel so you know mourn lament by and and in doing that shave your heads cut off your hair and 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 uh, anyway so my point is basically that here are specific occasions where the most high practically commands times where people should shave their heads so with this in mind, I believe that it's okay for for us to be shaving our heads. Um, there's no commandment not to shave our heads except for the uh, the priests. Having said that, if we go to Leviticus 19:28, there are some restrictions about uh, what we can do with our hair. For example, uh, 27. Sorry, it says, "Do not round the corner of your head, nor destroy the corner of your beard." It says, don't round the corner of your head. And uh, I believe that the commentator, um, I think it's Adam Clark, has got this right. Where he interprets this to mean uh, the haircut whereby uh, Herodotus, actually let me go to my notes here. Herodotus, he, he quotes Herodotus. And Herodotus uh, reports that the Arabs have two gods, Bacchus and Urania, and they say that in their mode of cutting the hair they follow Bacchus. Now their practice is to cut it in a ring away from their tem from the temples. So I believe this is a haircut that we should not be doing, whereby there, there's hair left on the top of the head in a sort of circle, circle um, but it's shaved on the temple, shaved on the sides and shaved at the front and the, the back. That we're not allowed to do according to the, to the commandment in my opinion. And another thing that we're prohibited from doing is Deuteronomy 14 and verse 1. It says, or Devarim 14 verse 1, You are the children of Yah, your Elohim. Do not cut yourselves, nor shave the front of your head for the dead. Now in this case, this, this does mention specifically for the dead. And the prohibition is that uh, something to do with shaving the front part of the head above the forehead in some sort of... Uh, act of mourning for the dead this is not allowed this is it's not allowed to just shave that front part of the head uh you know as an act of mourning for 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 the people who have passed away and that's prohibited so we shouldn't be doing those two things however to shave the head just for the sake of convenience or to shave it for uh you know for heat or whatever uh, that is i as far as i can tell from the scriptures that isn't a problem 